Hi boys and girls, Miss Galvin here, and today our learning target is to know and understand the history of St. Patrick's Day. So in order to teach you that, we are going to read The History of St. Patrick's Day by Deanna Steiner and Janelle Fackler. Um, and there is going to be a link in the description of this video to their Teacher Pay Teacher store, which is where I got this resource. So the history of St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated each year on March 17th. It is a day to celebrate Irish heritage and honor a man named St. Patrick. And this is a picture of the flag for Ireland. When St. Patrick was a boy, he was kidnapped and brought to Ireland. His kidnappers made him a slave. This is a picture of Ireland, which is an island. Eventually, he escaped. But during his time as a slave, he had come to love Ireland and its people. He decided that he wanted to help the people of Ireland learn about God. So he went to France and studied religion. He became a priest and then a bishop. He built churches and schools. The people trusted him because of his kind ways. St. Patrick spent the rest of his life helping the people of Ireland. He is still loved and honored by the Irish people. And this is faith, compassion, and kindness. When actually, um, the reason though that uh, the shamrock is known as something that goes with St. Patrick is because St. Patrick used that to teach about religion. Um, for the three clovers, he would say it was the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So that's actually why a shamrock has something to do with St. Patrick's Day. To celebrate St. Patrick's Day, people all over the world wear green, have parades, decorate with shamrocks, and wish people good luck. Some people also celebrate St. Patrick's Day by believing in little magical creatures called leprechauns. Some people believe that leprechauns hide their gold at the end of a rainbow. If you catch a leprechaun, they will lead you to their gold. St. Patrick's Day is a day to remember what a good and noble man St. Patrick was. We can try to follow his example of kindness and compassion on St. Patrick's Day. And another legend that involves St. Patrick is that he led all of the snakes out of Ireland. But the reality is there were never any snakes in Ireland because Ireland is an island and the water surrounding the island is too cold for snakes to migrate there. So to follow up, the end of that was talking about leprechauns. So we are going to do a read aloud of How to Catch a Leprechaun, written by Adam Wallace and pictures by Andy Elkerton. How to Catch a Leprechaun. The night is dark, the streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one, I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house, I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat 
the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Now you're talking, look at this, it's dandelion tea, but I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me, ever. Ha 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 ha. Now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pantsy dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. Totally safe place for leprechauns. The leprechaun be gone 3000 gave me quite a scare, but without a four leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact, unless one day, a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. I hope you enjoyed learning about St. Patrick's Day and reading the book, How to Catch a Leprechaun. Um, so I want you all to find somebody at home, some whoever your grown-up is at home, and tell them one thing that you learned about St. Patrick's Day today, and maybe next year you can build your very own leprechaun trap and try to catch a leprechaun. Okay, boys and girls, have a wonderful day. Bye!